we're going to be talking about how loud Nick opens LaCroix. Oh. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie. If you want to know when I release new videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on the little notification bell. Every single time I upload, it should notify you if YouTube wants to work. I currently live in the greater Irvine area and we are gonna be moving to Seattle and we're super excited about that. But I figured before that happens, might as well do an apartment tour of what our apartment looks like here in Orange County. That being said, you can come on and see my house. All right, let's cut it. All right, this is what it looks like when we first walk in. We have our keys right here on the wall, and then we got this shelf system slash like shoe rack at Urban Outfitters. I highly recommend this piece. It's so easy to put together, and it gives you coat, purse, dog storage next to your door without having to have a closet over here because if you just spin a little, this is where our dining room is. And this wall was probably the hardest thing for me when we first moved in because I didn't know what to put here because there's these ceiling lights that you can slide them on the track, but they don't really move otherwise. So I was just trying to figure out how do I play with this space because this was intended to be like a dining room-esque space but I didn't really know what to do with it but I think that it came out super cute we have a little bar cabinet this is from CB2 the planters you can get them at CB2 Bed Bath & Beyond and Amazon I believe they're by the brand called Umbra Umbra right something like that mirror is West Elm blanked on that for a second, but it's a cool mirror. And then these chairs are honestly such a great deal. We found them on Amazon because World Market sells some just like this. I've seen them also at West Elm a couple years ago, but they were all like $50 each. And I found dupes on Amazon. It was four for a hundred. So I was pretty happy with that. Literally just type in modern white chair and they should come up. And then this table we got from World Market. The little centerpiece is from West Elm again. We really like West Elm. This is our bar cabinet. We have a cute little cheers up there. Got some selection. And then this hanging plant I got at World Market and then this is actually fake. I only have fake plants on this guy, the wall here, and then in the bedroom because there's just not enough light in this general area. But I really like it. Super simple, literally just put a little hook in the wall. And then we got these really cool bookends from Target a couple years ago and we finally figured out where to put them because this little alcove is just, you know, so cute now. And then champagne because you can't go wrong, basically. And then this is our kitchen view. Stools, both are from Ikea. We got them because initially we didn't write down <laughs> the measurements for how tall the island was. So we got them because they are adjustable. And honestly, they don't look half bad for being Ikea. There's my phone. But yeah, I really, really like in having an island because it just gives you so much more counter space and the L-shaped kitchen is just always nice to cook in as well. And this is gonna be a very realistic apartment tour because look at dirty dishes. 
and this is our coffee corner. We normally have like three different roasts at a time, but in the light of moving, we decided that we should probably cut down how much we have. So we only have this little guy right now and 100% recommend this is so good. You can get it at Whole Foods or I think Verve actually ships now too, if I'm not mistaken. Also, this guy, this is a rechargeable milk frother. If I can get it to, there we go. And literally you just stick it in your milk and you can heat it up first and then you just press the button and you just made yourself a little like home latte without having the full on espresso maker and milk frother attachment. So there you go, pro tip, get one of these. They're so nice, highly recommend. Also what's really cool about this corner is Nick being the ingenious person that he is, he switched out this outlet panel for a smart panel. So essentially all you have to do is flip the water kettle switch and then he has it timed so where if I push it, it lights up because that's the switch for it. But he has it set up to where it actually boils at six o'clock every morning. So when we get up, we have water and we can just make coffee. And it's really, really sweet. Basically, I'm just recommending getting yourself a Nick because he's pretty awesome. And now we're in the living room where we have a little pesto. Hello, little pesto you Bubba. Take a lift Hi, that buddy. Meal. Hi, you're so good. Yes, you are. Look at you. I'm stretching with all my might. I know, you're I so might good. might fall off, but that's okay. It's okay, I know. I know. He's the best. So this is our living room. We have a little like wine glass end table situation starting over here. Oh no! It's burning! <laughs> oh no! When the aesthetic goes all wrong. Oh no! Okay, you can just turn that off. Yeah, it's okay. Harry, you're fine. You're okay. Yeah, he needed a haircut anyway, so maybe that was just good timing. But this is our living room. This is probably, oh, hello friends. This is probably the room we spend the most time in. I got these really cool vines from Urban Outfitters and honestly, I highly recommend them because even like super close up, they look pretty realistic. But since I didn't wanna go to the trouble of putting in curtains and nailing that into the wall and then getting curtains that were like long enough. I figured that this would be a nice way to spruce up a little slider door without having to always look at these ugly freaking blinds. I hate these with a passion, but what can you do when you're in an apartment? We got our artwork here on the wall from Target. And honestly, if you're looking for some pretty legit artwork, check Ikea and Target and sometimes World Market because honestly, like, this is the beginning of a gallery wall that I never finished now that we're moving. Like, there's really no point in me finishing it, but my original aesthetic was gonna be gray, pink, green, thus what's going on there in that situation. This is my favorite table in the living room because first of all, my plants, then I have my little salt lamp, my little Polaroid, this little doll my uncle actually got for me in Japan and it's made completely out of coconut shell. So that's pretty unique. Then I have some essential oil because I'm just a sucker for good smells and I go around huffing oils all the time. Just kidding, that's not what I do. <laughs> And then our old roommate Parker actually got these. And I mean, namaste. Let that shit go. So, super cute. Then we go on the balcony. And 
Pesto is a prince and he has two beds in our house. This is his sunbathing bed because as you can see, the sun's kind of starting to creep over even right now. And what he likes to do is he likes to sleep right on that in the sun, sun bask away. He loves it. This was my herb garden at one point, but since it's been over 90 degrees, my basil now looks like this. No matter how much I watered it, I took it out of the sun. It just was not feeling the heat. My chives, however, they're, they're pretty happy right now. And I did have everything filled, but again, since we're moving and I can't bring any plants, I've just kind of been giving them off to friends or just letting them die, unfortunately. Hi, huh, buddy. Are you gonna go sit in the sun? Yeah? And then this is some more. I have a citronella plant here. And honestly, like this has been a lifesaver because we are located right over a pool. And essentially this is like having one of those citronella candles, but just in true plant form. And it keeps most of the bugs away. It grows like a weed. So that's why this one's a little crazy. He needs a little care, but you know, it's okay. Hi buddy. Want to help me? And then this is our cute little garden and like sitting area. I don't remember where any of this is from really, but honestly, like this has been my favorite like spot outside. I do a lot of work right here because then I can just like sit and watch. And then we have some more plants, a little candle, a little pesto. This poof, fun story for you, on pesto, is actually from Morocco, and we found this seller on Etsy, and he makes all of these himself, so he raises the animals, then he tans the leather, then he makes it, so this was one product that I was okay having, even though it was leather, just because it was a small farmer who did this as his whole business, and um, he even like shows pictures of his goats and stuff on his farm. So hopefully they're true. I mean, the internet is the internet, but from what he was saying on his page and how he is as a seller, I wanted to believe that this was all sustainably made. So this is the Mar our authentic Moroccan poof. Super fancy. And over here, you wanna show the bedroom, bub? Wanna go? Okay, let's go. Yeah. This is the master. These were literally some of the first things that I bought when Nick and I moved in together. They're from Michaels and they are just so cool to have. They're just fake greenery tiles, essentially. It's like the back of them look like this and you can just stick them on the wall and then take them off and dust them every so often. But honestly, like it just gives such a nice pop of color against a white wall. And then as you can see, I have a very simple white and green aesthetic going. I have more plants up here. I also forgot to mention that Nick actually made these balcony string lights. Um, set on a timer as well so every evening as the sun set they come up and then they slowly dim um, as the night goes on and then by like 11 or so they turn off automatically by themselves so that's super nice to have just this ambient light out there and then this is from the bed view basically this is Phineas that's verb this is Karen when I got Karen she literally only had like about five leaves, I wanna say. And she's thriving. She's living her best life right now. Like, look at that happy girl and that salty pug. I'm sorry, buddy. I still love you, don't worry. I know you're mad at me. But yeah, this is, what did I name you? I don't remember. I think I named you Oscar, actually. I have a lot of office characters as plants, just to keep on with the office theme that we have going. But 
you know, you can never have too much office in your life. Stay trippy, little hippie. Right, buddy? Also, well, the reason why I really like this apartment is because the master bedroom has a sliding mirror closet and a full walk-in closet. So this was a lifesaver and moving, I was not really willing to give that up. So I made sure to find an apartment that also has a walk-in closet because you know your girl is gonna need some space. Then this is our master. We actually, fun fact, see, there we go. Nick made this happen. So we have little sensors here and there because the lights turn on automatically. But fun fact for you, we actually don't use this shower anymore because we've been practicing using our other bathroom. So when we have to downsize into a one bedroom, one bath, we won't have the issue of being like, why do I only have one shower? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I love this counter so much. I wish it was a little more aesthetically pleasing, but at the end of the day, it is a Jack and Jill sink and it's honestly such a lifesaver. I love having this so much. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give it up, but this was definitely one of the bonuses of having this apartment specifically. And then fun little shout out. This is some of my favorite. Let's see if we can get this to focus here. One moment, there we go. So beauty counter, you should check this out. My friend Jenna, if you've watched any of my other videos, she was in my Disneyland um, little day in life video I posted recently. She is a consultant for Beauty Counter and the reason why I like this brand so much is they are a very clean, sustainable brand. They have no like fragrances or parabens or anything bad added to their stuff and they have a never list. So you literally can read on the ingredients what is in there, if it's good for you, and if it's natural or not. So I 100% recommend checking this brand out at least. And I will try to leave her link in the description below. So then you can go ahead and give her a little shout out and say that I sent you. Hester, are you pouting? Let's go. Hey. This is our washer dryer, which was also another huge thing for us. I am like not a fan of having to go and take my laundry anywhere. It will never get done. So therefore I needed this in my apartment. So this was a lifesaver. This is our second. Oh, wow, that was really aggressive. I am sorry. Um, this is our second bathroom. And this is basically turned into my makeup bathroom. And I have some dried eucalyptus here, picked it up at Anthropology, Anthropology candle. If you can see a theme I have going on right now, I have a little bath caddy for when I take baths and that's super nice. Just get a glass of wine, grab a book. Zen, it's a mood. What are you doing? That's a wall, dude. Like, I don't know why you're squeaking at that. You okay? What, what, what are you doing? Oh, what, what are you doing? You are so silly, dude. This is another storage closet. We literally only have vacuum cleaner in here, so it's not that interesting. This is our Monica Geller room. So this is where I like to sit and film my YouTube videos because it is my cute little corner. This is also where I do yoga a lot of the time, thus the mirror, the mat, my yoga roller. And this is my fancy new light we just got, little, little shelf situation going on here. Messy desk because like I said, we are in the middle of packing now, so this is what life looks like, not gonna lie. My yoga towels are drying. My pizza floaty just hanging out in the corner, you know. Just, just life things. And then if you wanna see the Monica Geller closet, hello, mess central. 
we're not gonna look at that for too long. But yeah, that's basically our house and the AC just kicked on, so that's all that noise. Mr. Pesto Mesto, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, that is our apartment. I will go ahead and try and remember to link everything that I mentioned that you should actually go check out. If not, I'm sorry for those of you who know me in real life, you can message me. Also, fun fact, since we are moving to Seattle, like I've said literally a thousand times, I should just put a ticker up here and just count how many times I've said this. Um, we are in the process of trying to get rid of most of our furniture. So if you know me in real life and you wanna come pick up some furniture you saw today, please let me know because I'm trying to get rid of it before October. So let me know. If you like this video, please subscribe, like all that YouTuber BS. Hello, it me, Ikigai with Julie. Follow me on Instagram, Julie Sun. <laughs> but um, yeah, in all honesty, thanks for watching. If you wanna see my house tour when we move, Go ahead and like and comment where you like to shop for furniture. And I will make sure to make a Seattle apartment tour video. Until then, bye.